My father, he loved playing tennis, and he would, you know, ask my brother, my sister, and myself if we wanted to play tennis. So he'd get a bucket of balls, and you know, next thing you know, he was just feeding ball after ball. You know, they were looking for me a lot of nights, you know, at nine o'clock, and I was there at the courts. You know, I was hitting against a wall. I was always trying to find different players to play with. I was a goalie in, in hockey, and my dad said, look, you have to make a decision. What do you want to do? You want to play tennis or hockey? So that's when I said, you know what, let's go for the tennis route. He, he was always committed. He took the midnight shift so he could be with us during the day while we were traveling, and he was able to be there and, you know, to monitor, you know, our progress and stuff like that. So we got into the car. He drove to North Carolina about 14 hours. He stayed there a few days with me. He left me there with a family that obviously he, he knew and I was at an academy there training because there were two other juniors that were the top one and two uh, juniors in the United States. So I'd have you know, great practice and people to push me you know, going forward. I went to nationals and I, I won them. I won the singles and doubles, uh, indoor and outdoor. And then that's when uh, Tennis Canada put me on the national team and I started traveling all around the world playing all the junior international events. I remember when the first time I played like Junior Wimbledon from the juniors and I, I was playing the, I believe it was the first or second round and I was playing on the graveyard court where all the major upsets happen and uh, I was playing this guy Jamie Delgado from Great Britain, he was like the number four player in the world. I actually got through the first set, I won the first set and then I had to pull out because I tore my stomach. Um, but. From then on, I was like, look, I, I belong here, like I should be here. Playing the actual Grand Slams and the ATP events when I was a professional, playing Wimbledon, the US Open, the French Open, obviously were major um, accomplishments for me and things that stick out. I remember actually playing the juniors at the Junior US Open and um, Brad Gilbert, the coach of Andre Agassi at the time, came to me and he says, hey, do you want to hit some balls with Andre? So I mean, I just went on the court and I remember like all the, the people that are around, like even when I was playing the juniors, I didn't have that many people around and he was, you know, we were just playing for, it was just a practice. And I remember there was like, you know, a few thousand people watching the practice, bodyguards in each corner, Brooke Shields was there. So it was, it was awesome. I mean, I always had the opportunity to play, you know, practice and play with the great ones. I was on the Davis Cup team for about, I, I believe like I was on the squad for like 10 years in total and I, I remember Louis Kai, the Davis Cup captain, had asked me, he said, look, I think, uh, I think you're ready, you're ready to play. And all of a sudden I felt this huge weight on my sh shoulder, it was just like, oh my god, this is like happening, you know, I have, I have this chance. For me that was my ultimate goal was to represent Canada, so I was like delighted. You know, I came from, you know, Windsor and Essex, it's a small place. When you're playing in Forest Glade, I remember, you know, spending many, many hours there. So for me to, you know, come out there and say, okay, look, I've accomplished this on a, on a national level, on a provincial level, and an international level, it's, it's, it's awesome.